Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We are back at the setup. Long weekend is over. We are back and ready to grind this week. And I am so excited to get into the content in FIFA 23 right now because it is exactly what we asked for. It's exactly what we wanted. And I want to cover that and break it down in today's video. We got a lot of content yesterday and I'm expecting some more today that is going to move the market and make the menus very very grindable and they currently are in that state very very grindable the hype i think has returned back at least for me to the menus a bit because of this big change and we had a lot of content yesterday and a lot of market movements so we got to talk about all that and more in today's video if you enjoy the videos on the channel drop a thumbs up of course subscribe if you are new let's start with yesterday's content because there's a lot to go over yesterday and monday was a big day let's start with the showdown sbc right that was our sbc content that we did have yesterday two very interestingly priced sbcs it's you know usually showdowns are like basically the same price for both of the sbcs that are dropped that is not the case at all here we got a montiel and a wynaldum as it was leaked montiel and Wijnaldum, in my opinion, might be both must-do SBCs. A five-star weak foot upgrade for this card. High, high work rates. But look at the positions this guy can play. I mean, I'm, I'm sure you guys have seen this. He can play right back, center back, left back with that five-star weak foot. He is five foot nine. So he's maybe not the best center back because he's going to be Cordoba-esque, pretty short. But he's going to be pretty pacey. He can actually be explosive. That would be kind of crazy, an explosive center back. That's something we like... We haven't seen in a long time, but that's going to be a card. I think most people will play at right back or left back, and it's just pretty cheap, right? Of course, the winner of this Europa League final is going to get a plus two upgrade. So either Montiel will be going to a 93 at 60,000 coins and two squads to do somehow two squads and 60K. It's going to be very craftable with upgrade packs this week. I'm going to be getting that one done for sure just because it'll be easy to craft. But the more hyped player, in my opinion, and the one that I kind of hope gets the dub is Wijnaldum. High, high work rates. Four-star, five-star weak foot. He can play all of the midfielder positions in central and, of course, right mid, which is very, very nice. Links to that Tammy Abraham road to the final card as well. 98 balance, 99 stamina really well-rounded card amazing player flare trait and the five star weak foot's a really, really big boost for him now like i said very different price points though you've got a 191,000 coin wine album card and you've got a 60,000 coin montiel you can see they're both very highly upvoted and i think wine might be the more popular of the two if we take a look at the upvotes yeah 1500 thumbs up for this card and what does Montiel have? Montiel's got 600, right? I think more people are voting on the thumbs up for Wijnaldum because I think that's the more like maybe meta FIFA card. But Montiel is still kind of sick. The fact that you can play that card at center back and left back and right back is pretty cool. So that was a W showdown yesterday from EA Sports. I will say this is why we did not invest in any of the Serie A midfielders because we knew that this was uh, Wijnaldum was coming. Look at some of these cards. Barella was 140K. He went all the way down to 125. Now, some of them have rebounded back a little bit. Uh, Benasser is another one who had a big dip in price yesterday. If any of these guys are still low with this Serie A hype upcoming, I'm sure a lot of people were investing yesterday at this low point. If any of them are still very, very low or get near this low point they were at yesterday, as some of them have rebounded, uh, that will be an investment that I would keep an eye on, and I think there's good potential there. Ben Acer was 290. He went down to 270. Right now, he's about 290. That's an undercut there at 269. So I would say watch your Serie A center mids because that could be a part of the market that is a bit low right now because of Wijnaldum. Uh, that could actually be going up later. And we'll take a look at some other right backs, actually, that are down a bit on the market because of Montiel as well, including one that is in the League One team of the season. But other content that we got yesterday, man, I feel like EA deserves a GG, a little bit of a hand clap, because it took them four weeks, right? But they finally listened, guys. They put out the player picks that we have been asking for. Yeah, it's not an 81 plus, but it is an 80 plus player pick that all you have to turn in is gold commons. And what this does is it makes the menus so grindable right now. You can go from bronzes all the way up to gold rares with certain and specific upgrade SBCs or league SBCs in between there with some of the SBCs that are still available in this game. Uh, and you can craft all the way through. So it's an incredible, incredible grind right now on this game. I have not done a single upgrade pack or a single player pick just yet. I got to get working on that. Uh, I've got a lot of cards in the club. As you can see, a lot of cards that I had stocked up, not commons, 
but uh, I gold rares for sure. And I'm very excited to hit these player picks just because it gives us way better fodder man a lot of people are saying that fifa is dead right now and i get that team of the season is a bit repetitive and i get that it's the same schedule over and over and over and that can wear people out right that can be a, um something that takes people off of the game but this player pick right here it's one simple player pick sbc man but like look at that look at the fodder that i'm getting an 85 Jorginho. that's going straight into my club and that's going to go straight into probably the Wijnaldum SBC or another SBC that I'm crafting. The player picks just give it so much grindability to the menus. It's huge. And this is why we had one of them for a long time. It makes me want to send a lot more coins into upgrade packs. Like the 75 times 11 was another SBC that was dropped yesterday at a pretty good price for a very high chance of a team of the season as well. We've got the premium league one upgrades as well, which evidently the XP for this is bugged. If you do it sometimes, it's not counting for some people. So not sure what's going on there. We all need our XP right now, but this upgrade pack grind right now is just insane. It's really restored some life back to the menus and some hype in my opinion for this game. So I don't know how good the TOTS pack weight is in like the League 1 premium upgrade packs. The 80 plus player picks, of course, give you an opportunity to pack League 1 team of the season cards and the Super League TOTS cards. But I will say this, the 75 times 11, I haven't seen any opened. I haven't opened mine yet. We'll save that for today on stream, of course. Um, but I have to imagine that the weight on these is pretty good just because there's so few golds that are in uh, the League One, right? So many chances to pack blues. Take a look at some of these cards. Medina was 150 yesterday before content. He went all the way down to 120k where he is now. A lot of the middle to the low tier of this League One team of the season is really hurting in price after yesterday. Again, I said after Monday at content, I'm not touching these TOTS cards. And I'm glad that I did it. 100,000 coins all the way down to 78, 77k for Fofana. Really, I think the middle to low tier of this tot squad is getting hurt in price a lot right now because of the upgrade packs number one and then some of them you know hurt by maybe like you know the fofana probably hurt by wynaldum a bit and this uh klaus going from 120 down to 94,000 coins probably impacted by the montiel sbc as well but again that's why i didn't try to trade or invest with any of those syria tots cards sorry not syria uh league one tots cards after content yesterday on monday and we'll talk more about those cards here in a minute but this upgrade pack grind is very very nice the 75 times 11 is a really good chance at packing the blue right and i think that's another reason why those lower tier tots cards are down 81 84 if you're doing any upgrade packs super duper craftable and like you saw i got an 85 Jorginho out of that 80 plus player pick that's one thing that i think is making the menus very grindable right now, but it's actually hurting some of our investments, right? We invested in some fodder over the weekend. Take a look at 83s. There's still 1.6K. 84 is still 4,000 coins. 85 still the low 8K range. Fodder is really not moving, and it's not moving because everybody is getting a ton of fodder from those upgrade packs and specifically the player picks. Now you're having probably a bit of a spike every single day still on the 83s and the 84s, maybe the 85s, but specifically that 84 and under range, you're going to have some spikes on it because people are going to run out of fodder for the 7511. And since this has such a great potential of packing a team of season card, I don't know why this is 83% downvoted. This is a must do SBC every single day that it refreshes because you get such a good chance at packing a league one tots card from this people are going to be doing that right and you're going to see sbc fodder probably spike like you do every single week around the content drop time i would expect fodder still going to end up being its highest in the middle of the week so if you did invest there's more sbc's coming you still could see a fodder rise this week i like the 84s though the best if i was to buy something right now to try to flip on the daily 84s would be my go-to and then of course with these uh, upgrade packs that are out i believe gold rares have started to go up a little bit i don't think they're crazy high yet but if you invested in these at like 650 uh, looks like they're like 850 to 900 is that where they're at 900s were expiring yeah 850 into the sell for gold rares they're probably going to go up even more into today and i want to check gold commons as well just because the player picks are there i would imagine that commons are maybe up a little bit as some people will just buy the commons straight away. Yeah, commons are up just a little bit, 400 to 450. Yeah, 450 probably for those and probably going to rise a little bit more into today. So if you invested in that part of the market, I would still be holding and lazy listing. Lazy list your gold, your rare golds at 1.2K. Lazy list your commons at like 600 coins. 
if you invested there, those are probably going to go up. Again, if you invested in fodder like I did a bit of a club stock, probably going to see those prices still spike up. Wednesday, Thursday, they'll get towards their highest, especially with more content still upcoming, right? We talked about in yesterday's video, two SBCs that could have dropped yesterday. We got one of them. Well, guess what other one still could be coming, right? This guy, Awar. The flashback that we also saw leaked with Kempembe that we're really, really excited for. This could be a really nice player SBC to craft, uh, to link to some of the other League One Tots cards um, coming into this game today. I, th I think this SBC is today because Tuesdays have been a main league SBC player for basically all the last four weeks of team of the season. So uh, this is one that I think would be the highest percentage chance of coming today. Eusebio could also be an SBC that drops today for an icon, but we'll see. Now for this LR card, there is one obvious link and he's actually down in price. A tall, right? A tall is the obvious link to this one. And I think the Awar might be might be put off might put off some people today because it does not have the France links because he of course changed nationalities to be Algerian. So you've got a tall being a card that links him up very nicely. And then if you use a couple other League One players or a player from Lyon, then of course you'll be on Chem. But this Atal card is actually down a lot because of the Montiel. And uh, I don't often say this, but I am picking up a couple of Atals right now. I don't often like shout out specific investments. I'm not picking up a ton of him because this card is very, very invested. And if you take a look at like any given time, some of his cheapest cards on the market, they all have like, uh, most of them will have, see this, zero games played in the current club. That means that it's an investor. That means the people that are listing these are just trying to get the coins and sell the card. And they're probably not making too much coins off this either. So I've picked up a couple of these. I'm trying to get like 50K or 51, 52,000 coins if I can. A couple of bids there. Just because I don't see many opportunities besides maybe some other Leon cards. You could look at that as well. Uh, Cherokee, Lacazette, a couple others that could be dropping uh, or could be rising with the drop of that um our rsbc i just feel like this is gonna have hype if it drops today i hope it's not that expensive it's got to be cheaper than Kempembe for sure this should be no more it should be a juiced card and no more than like 2 250 for it to be really really hype maybe 300k max but we'd probably like it to be lower than that just because the links are a bit tougher because he's not french anymore but i think there's really good potential for that today also maybe that 83 times three League One, if that's going to be an SBC, that could be something that drops today on this game too. And that would probably be a pack that would make some fodder rise up as well on the lower tier. That's a, another reason where you could see 83s, 84s, and 85s go back up a bit more in price, right? That one is more unknown for sure. Player SBC today. Also, Super League Tots Guaranteed should be today as well. That's kind of a Tuesday uh, common piece of content that we get. Uh, Cardi is down a lot more. I'm pretty sure last night on the YouTube video, we were looking at him and, and he was like 295,000 coins. Yes, of course, he got packed some yesterday from new packs in the store and stuff like that. But a lot of this price dropping off is honestly, people that had that card, more supply coming in, people selling it and driving the price down because everybody right now is just grinding the upgrades. I cannot believe that Mertens is 35. That's ridiculous. This is a such a good card for such a low price. 35k for Mertens. He's almost like fodder. That is nuts. Valencia is still very expensive. Needs to come down. Barini, really good card for the price. This is a cheap team of Tots cards from a secondary league. And uh, I'm all for it. But that guaranteed Tots pack is going to come out today. Probably 83, 84 rated squad. Nothing going to be too crazy there. Um, but that'll be another SBC that could make some of that lower tier fodder go up a bit. And uh, just something else to watch out for today on this game. Also, Tuesdays, I can't go into the store unless I go into the back doorway through the... Um, the draft to get to the FIBA points, right? This is how you go into the store through the back door if you've got cards that are neon assigned. Um, I think some store packs are going to refresh today. I still have not opened my second 10 coin pack. Uh, this could refresh, but also the player pick, right? Those tradable player picks could refresh. And I think the 500k pack, since I have not opened it, it still shows here for me. But if you open the 500k pack over the weekend, I think Tuesdays have been the days where that refreshes. So that's kind of something to look out for. Again, if they do drop that 25,000 coin League One player pick once again, if we can do it five times, that's going to really, really hurt the League One Tots card prices again. And again, this is entering day two of I'm not going to touch these cards. I'm not going to touch them today. What I would tell you is if there's anybody on the top tier, we're talking about guys like Lacazette, maybe Messi, Ben Yedder, uh, Jonathan David, Verratti, Marquinhos, the cards that are over like 200,000 coins, 
but specifically your more rare and top tier ones like Lacazette and Jonathan David, and maybe Nuno Mendes as well. If their card prices drop off a ton today, there might be some low points in the late Tuesday night. And we'll talk more about this in tomorrow's video, but late Tuesday night, early Wednesday hours for an investment as they rise. That kind of happened with Pedri last week. If you look at his graph, his real lowest point was like early Wednesday, late Tuesday night, right? He was 1.5 lows. And then after the guarantee, he went to 1.7 mil. Guys like Valverde were, were really low last week as well. Llorente was really low last week then. Uh, Lewandowski was really low. I mean, wow, Lewandowski has dropped off a ton after it's gone on 610k wow this guy was like 770 and he's down that much that's crazy so uh some of these guys are still overpriced as i look at the team but with these league one tots cards today i would say watch them prices drop off a bit more with more content getting released especially for a guy like Verratti. if we're gonna get awar that might be a new midfielder that people would be selling Verratti to do the new RSBC if he's good enough. So just keep an eye on that side of the market today. It's not investment time yet, but we might be getting close. I'll be looking more for that tomorrow with the guaranteed, looking around that time for a lot of the top to middle to top tier cards from League One team the season. Now the out of packs market is kind of a mixed bag. We looked at a tall, right? And he was down, but other cards are just continuing to go up in price. Um, it's the Serie A specials, right? All of the... The hype and the buildup is continuing to go. How much is, oh my goodness, how much is Rafael Leal? 400K for Rafael Leal. Some of your Serie A special cards just keep going up in price. I have a couple of these Teo Hernandez team of the tournament cards that I picked up for like 260. He is still 300,000 coins. That is up. Um, World Cup hero Rudy Valer was another one that I picked up at like 210 and under. I think he's like 230 ish right now yeah 225 230 so a lot of those cards still rising and they're probably going to continue to rise now if you have league one specials um these are the ones that i would maybe consider start to selling into the hype lacazette winter wild cards was like thirty thousand coins last week and he is sixty five thousand coins right now right so you're seeing some continual price rises on some of the league one special cards some of them are down uh just kind of depends on the card but if you have those and you're making a big amount of profit on them maybe you look to take the cash here in the next day or two as the cup demand will probably be at its peak so that's kind of the video for today guys it man, for me it feels like the menu grind is back and it brings a lot of excitement back for me i don't know if it does for you guys or not let me know down below in the comments i'm excited to get this tots counter from 58 like legit guys i feel like we might be able to get it to like high 60s this week i'm hoping to pack 10 team of the season this week I know I'm going to pack a lot of the low tier guys. I know that's who's popping the most from these upgrade packs, but it gives you good fodder, which you can go craft more SBCs with. And when you're even when you're packing the lower tier blues more often, it just gives you that feeling that the content is better and that you have potential to pack team of the seasons themselves. Um, and even if it's, again, a lot of Klaus, Cabela, Andre, Toribo, and Fofana, at least if you're packing consistent blues, that's really good fodder. And you feel like maybe you have a chance of hitting a big boy blue like an Mbappe, Messi, Neymar as well. So I'm excited to grind the menus today. We're going to be doing it all on stream. If you're excited for that, look down below in the comments or in the description for the link. But if you did enjoy today's video, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you had any questions. And of course, subscribe if you are new. Drop by the stream today. Let's pack some blues, guys. It's been Info Count. See you guys there. Peace.